Hi kids, I hope everybody is fine. So this video is for class 10 student and in class 10 we were solving sums from the chapter circles from ML Agarwal and we have done till sum number 25 from exercise 15.3. For the previous video you can definitely see the description box. In this video we will start from sum number 26. This was based on tangent and second properties. Look. Two chords A, B and C, D of a circle intersect internally at a point P if number one, AP equals to 6 cm, BP equals to 4 cm, PD equals to 3 cm, find PC. I'll first draw the diagram. This is your circle. You have two chords. Suppose A, B and C, D. They intersect internally. Then what is the theorem? The length of the segment of the chords, the product of the length of the segment of the chords are equal. The product of the lengths of the segment of the chord of the chord is equal. Whether they intersect internally or externally, it doesn't matter. Look, part 1. AP is 6 cm, PB is 4, PD is 3. They have asked for PC. Now PC is X. Now according to this theorem, AP into PB is CP into PD. Yes or no? That is the theorem only. Substitute the value. AP is 6, PB is 4, CP is X and PD is 3. We have proved this theorem also in one of the video. Okay. A 3 1 time, 3 2 times. So 8 is equal to X. So X is what? 8 centimeter, which means PC is 8 centimeter. This was number 1. Done. Very easy. Now look at number 2, what they're doing. AB is 12 centimeter. AB. So I'll just rub this one. Same diagram. AB is 12. AP is 2. AP, sorry. AP is 2. PC is 5. Actually, AB is 12. So what is PB? 12 minus 2 plus 10. Look carefully. AB is 12 centimeter. And they have given AP as 2. AP as 2 centimeter. So what will be PB? Look at the diagram. 12 minus 2, that is 10 centimeter. Done. The was of PD. Same logic. This one only. AP multiplied by PB is equal to CP multiplied by PD. Substitute the value. AP is 2. PB is 10. CP is 5. They have given in the sum. PD, they have asked. Okay. Suppose Y. 5 1 time, 5 2 times. So y equals to 4 centimeter. So this is 4 centimeter. Done. One more part is given. Let us solve that part also. Look, AP is 5. AP is 5 centimeter. PB is 6 centimeter. CD, the entire length, CD is 30. Find CP. Now, suppose I take CP is x. CD is 13. So what is PD? 13 minus x. Simple logic. Because the entire thing was 13. Now, we will use the same logic. AP, that is 5 multiplied by PB, that is 6, is equal to CP, that is x. 13 minus x. Yes or no? Open the bracket. 30 equals to 13x minus x square. Break on this side. x square minus 13x plus 30 equals to 0. We know the factorization process, you know. Middle term, x square minus 10x minus 3x plus 30 equals to 0. Middle term, x taken common, x minus 10 minus 3 taken common, x minus 10 equals to 0. Which means x minus 10, x minus 3 equals to 0. Done. So from 0 product rule, x minus 10 equals to 0. So x is 10. x minus 3 equals to 0. So x is 3. So CP will be either 3 or 10 centimeter. Either 3 centimeter or 10 centimeter. That's your answer.
वेरी इजी वन थियर चलो विल डू द नेक्स्ट वन ट्वेंटी सेवन नाउ टू लुक एट ट्वेंटी सेवन पार्ट ए इन द फिगर पी टी इज अ टैंजेंट टू द सर्कल फाइन टी पी इफ ए टी इज सिक्सटीन ए बी इज ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर ओके वेरी इजी अगेन वी है थियर इफ अ टैंजेंट एंड अ कॉड meet externally then the square of the tangent length of the tangent is equal to the product of the length of the segment formed by the chord which in this case is at multiplied by bt look over here is t only yeah yes or no the square of the length of the tangent is equal to the product of the length of the segments formed by the chord t is an external point now substitute the value look over here at is 16 and bt so at is 16 at is 16 ab is 12 ab is 12 so bt will be 16 minus 12 that's 4 cm So this will be four centimeter because the entire is sixty. So P T square is sixty four, which means P T is plus minus root sixty four. That's plus minus eight. We'll take the positive value because length cannot be negative. So we got P T or T P as eight centimeter. Very easy. Okay, done. And this is very important because it came twice. You know, in two thousand one as well as in two thousand seven, the same question came. Or type. Chalo, we look at twenty seven part B. We look at twenty seven part B in the figure given. AB is the diameter, and CD is the chord of a circle which meet at P. PT is a tangent to the circle at T. CD is seven point eight. PD is five. PB is four centimeter. Find AB and the length of the tangent PT. Very easy. First of all, look at this chord AB and CD. AB is the diameter. The diameter is the longest chord. So they meet externally, which means the product of the length of the segments of this chord will be equal, which means AP multiplied by PB will be equal to CP multiplied by PD. The product of the length of the segments formed by the chord, if they meet externally or internally, is equal. AP. Suppose this is x. So this is x plus four. Look, AP is what? X plus PB. That is four. I've taken AB as x. PB is four. CP. CP is seven point eight. And DP is sorry. CP is not seven point eight. CP is seven point eight plus five. And PD is five. Solve it. So this is four x plus sixteen is equal to twelve point eight multiplied by five. Four x plus sixteen, this is sixty four. So four x equals to forty eight. Sixty four minus sixteen, x is twelve centimeter, which means AB will be twelve centimeter. Done. Very easy. Okay. Now look at the other one. If a tangent and a chord meet externally. Then the square of the tangent is equal to the product of the length of the segment formed by the chord. P T square is A P into B P. So P T square is A P is how much? Twelve plus four, sixteen. P B is four. So P T square is sixty four. So P T will be plus minus root sixty four, which is plus minus eight. So P T is plus eight. Negative we can't take. Very easy. This is the second theorem. This is your first theorem. Okay, so this is very easy. No? You just need to remember the theorem. Sure, we we'll do number twenty-eight now. To look at twenty-eight. PAB is a secant and PT is a tangent to the circle. If PT equals to eight centimeter and PA equals to five centimeter, find the length of AB. I'm just seeing the first one. Look over here. First thing, I'll draw the diagram. The diagram was not given to us. Circle. You have a second and you have a tangent isn't it the both the both meet at p p a b is your second and pt is your 
tangent. PA is 5, PT is 8. What is the length of AB? Suppose X. Suppose. Then you know PT square, I just told you. The square of the tangent, length of the tangent is equal to the product of the length of the segments formed by the chord. So BP multiplied by AP. Look carefully. PT is 8, so 8 square. BP. BP is how much? X plus 5. AP is 5. Solve it. 64 equals to 5X plus 25. 64 minus 25. That is 49, isn't it? No, sorry. 39. 39. So 39 equals to 5x. So x is what? 39 by 5. 5, 7 times. 35. 7.8 centimeter. Done. Which means AB is 7.8 centimeter. We just use this logic. That if a tangent and a chord meet externally, then the square of the length of the tangent is equal to the product of the length of the segments formed by the chord. AB is the chord. Okay. Now, this was part one. Part two. If PA is equal to 4.5, I'll just change the data. This is 4.5. AB is 13.5. Find the length of PT. Why is it? Yeah? Same logic. PT square. PT square with the Y square is BP, BP camera, 13.5 plus 4.5 multiplied by AP, AP is 4.5, yes or no? So Y square is 18 into 4.5, am I clear or not? Now, the Y will be 18 into 4.5, this is 18 into 45 Y square by 10, 9, uh, 5, 2 5s are, 2 9s are, 2 5s are, 5 1s are, 5 9s are, which means y equals, y square equals to 81, so y equals to plus minus 9, y equals to 9 centimeter. So the length of the tangent will be 9 centimeter. Okay, same logic we are using. Pt square equals to Bp into Ap. Substitute the value and get the answer. Now let us look at 29. Now look at sum number 29. In the joining figure CBA, CBA is a second and CD is a tangent. CD is a tangent. If AB is 7, AB is 7 centimeter and BC is 9 centimeter, then prove that number 1, ACD is similar to DCB. ACD is similar to DCB. Okay. And find the length of CD. Sure. First, I'll do this part. CD is a tangent, AB is a chord, and they meet externally at the point C. So we know that CD square is AC into BC. So CD square is AC. AC is how much? 9 plus 7. That is 16. BC is 9. So CD square is uh, CD is really, sorry, CD will be plus minus root 16 into 9. We can't take negative, we'll take positive. So 4 into 3, that's 12 centimeter. Done. Yes or no? Same logic. The square of the length of the tangent is equal to the square of the, right, the product of the length of the segment formed by the chord. AC into BC. Done. Prove that DCB is similar to ACD. Very easy. This angle is common. And this angle is equal to this angle. Wait, I'm saying. Triangle ACD and triangle DCB. Angle ACD, angle ACD is equal to BCD. Common. Yes or no? Next. Look carefully. This angle and this angle will be equal. Angle in alternate segment. If there is a chord, BD is a chord, if there is a tangent and they meet at the point D, then the angle formed between the chord and the tangent is equal to the angle in alternate segment, which is this, by the chord. So angle BDC 
angle. Wait, I'm taking A C D first triangle. So I'll write angle D A C. Angle D A C is equal to C D B C D B angle in alternate segment. See your triangles were like this, you know. This was A D C and the smaller triangle was B D C. This angle and this angle are equal. And this angle and this angle are equal. So two angles are equal, then the triangles are similar. So we can say that ACD triangle ACD is similar to A corresponds to D triangle D C corresponds to C DCB angle angle property. Yes or no? Remember, if this is your suppose tangent over here. There is a chord. Okay. This angle will be equal to the angle formed by the chord in the alternate segment. That is what we are using. This angle and this angle. Done. This is our number 29. This came in 2009. So very important. Chal. In this video, we will keep it till here. In the next video, hopefully we will finish this exercise. Till then, take care and be safe.